I was so looking forward to working in business with my husband because I knew it would improve our communication and I just feel like I'm so connected to him now. Right, honey? You know what's amazing is that she understands what I'm thinking before me even having to say it. Robin, this isn't the right TV. I had a different TV yesterday for today's presentation. Who moved this TV? Your husband, Matt, didn't he tell you? One of the great things about being in business with your spouse is you get to spend a lot of quality time together, like having lunch. <laughs> <laughs> hold, hold on, guys, hold on. Yeah, that, that's Sheena. I'm at an appointment. Again? Uh, this is three times now. I've been trying to have lunch with you. I thought me working with you, I'd spend more time with you. It's, it's an interview. Oh, okay. All right, well, then I'll see you later for dinner. Okay, bye. Okay, ladies, coast is clear. <laughs> Keep that shit, baby. <laughs> An awesome thing about working with my wife together in business is based on her structure and organizational ability at home, I can feel that here in the business too as well. Babe, yeah, babe, yeah. Babe, what's where's up, the babe? report you're supposed to put together for me? It's right here. Babe, I literally just cleaned this up two hours ago. <sighs> How many of you guys can relate? How many boyfriends and girlfriends out there in serious relationships? How many of you are fiancés? How many of you are married couples that can relate to what my wife are going through on a daily basis and dealing with basic personal relationship issues? And then compound that in our situation in business together, working on a day-to-day -day basis. I'm excited about this episode of Living Money Smart, this episode of how we have three secrets that we want to share with you that we've implemented ourselves that allowed us to become not only just power couples, but millionaires. personal life better, why not make each other's business life better and financial future better together? She was the one that said, honey, this is the way you are, this is what you need to do. And all I knew was that I had to get out and work. So I am the uh, workhorse, I'm the busy one, I'm the, you know, run and do whatever it takes. I'm the frantic one. If things are crazy, uh, money is short, I run out and I'll make some money really, really fast. I became what I saw he was lacking and that helped. So I think in regards to personality types, kind of knowing yourself, but also knowing your spouse and knowing what they're lacking and being that for them. What's cracking everybody? Money Smart Guy, Matt Cipolla here. Fire it up for this next episode. Listen, if you haven't done so already, please like this on Facebook if you're watching this on Facebook. And if you're watching this on YouTube and you haven't subscribed yet, make sure you hit subscribe and you hit the notification button to be alerted when we upload our next video to help you become more money smart. It's very interesting. A lot of people will see my wife and I on stage speaking, running a business without realizing that we started from nothing. With no wealth, no pedigree, no loan or subsidies to help us out to create a business or an SBA loan or a grant, nothing. We just had bootstrap, cash, money, skill, work ethic. That's all we had. And so when Sheena and I, we got together and said, you know what, we want to build a life. And here's the, here's the thing, we're a blended family. We don't have any kids together yet, but we have four kids between the two of us. So how do we make this work? How do we get things uh, to evolve? How do we get you to figure out your role and me to figure out role? And that's what we're gonna be talking about here in this episode of how we have implemented certain secrets and we wanna let you know what they are, how we became a power couple and that made us a cash flow millionaire. In a previous episode, I talked about five different ways you can become a millionaire. And the kind of millionaires that my wife and I are, we are cash flow 
millionaires. Those of us have a business that pays us seven figures a year. Show me the money! And these are the secrets that allow us to do that in a three year period, starting from scratch, starting from the bottom, starting from a cork 600 square foot desk into building it into a 12,000 foot operation that it is today. Point number one, friction is key and is gonna be there. Let's address the 600 pound buildup right now. Listen, there is going to be friction. There is going to be arguments. But here's the thing. My wife and I, we sat down together and said, you know, sweetheart, what do we observe about most couples in America today? Sadly, most couples today, especially for me observing you coming from the military, most couples today get divorced. And here's what we observe. Most people on Monday morning, guess what happens? Monday morning, eight o'clock, they leave the house. Boom, she goes this way, he goes this way. And next thing you know, they do that for a week. The next thing you know, they do it for a month. And they do it for a year five years, 10 years, 15 years, 20 years, they look at each other and say, you know what, who are you? You know why? Because for majority of most people's lives, they've grown apart. Friction is key, and guess what? As you have friction together, and you're working those things out together, guess what, on the other side, there's a lot of happiness, a lot of fulfillment, a lot of joy, knowing that you went through a difficult time from an argument standpoint, and you still came out winning. Point number two, know your roles. One of the first questions I asked my wife, I said, hey, sweetheart, what do you love about the business? What do you naturally gravitate towards? Where do you get the most amount of satisfaction, accomplishment with inside the business? You know what she said? Sales, I love seeing clients. I love the licensed part of our business. And vice versa, she asked me, she says, babe, what do you like about the business? Sweetheart, I love what I did in the Marine Corps, what I did in sports. I love recruiting the best teams. I love finding talent. I love seeing the fighting people and giving them a platform to win, giving them an environment to succeed. I like that part. I love the mentoring part. I love the coaching part. I love the transformation of somebody to go from zero to hero, scratch to success, nowhere to somewhere. I love that part. She goes, great. You handle that part of the business and I'll handle the sales part of the business. And guess what? We found our roles. And in the process, we learned how to carry our own weight. We learned to say, you know what? These are certain metrics in deliverables, here's what I expect you to do on this side of the business. And you go, she goes, sweetheart, this is what I expect you to, to do with this side of the business. We come together, if you're not pulling your weight, we've got some situations to, to discuss. We're discussing your work ethic, we're discussing your, you eating right, we're discussing you staying in the gym and exercising, taking care of your health, those type of things. Why? Because it's affecting your performance. It's affecting your ability to operate the way you're supposed to be in a world-class way at the office. So learn how to carry your weight and learn how to continue to develop. Point number three, individually, you must take personal responsibility for your attitude, your actions, and your achievements. One of the things that Shannon and I do at the end of every day is she is my last appointment of every day. We process issues together, we share things, one went well throughout our day, uh, we go through the frustrations and the anger sometimes that we've uh, felt, and how can we improve this situation? How can we improve this conversation? How can we improve this opportunity? Those are a lot of things that we talk about at the last appointment of the day, which is my wife, which is her husband. We process those issues together, so therefore when we wake up the next morning, we're a lot more better equipped to handle certain scenarios. If things don't go right, it's not like we're throwing each other under the bus, whether individually, personally, like your fault we're pointing fingers at each other, or to our company, to our staff, to our mentors. We wouldn't say, oh, you know, the reason why we haven't accomplished this is because my wife doesn't do this and my husband doesn't do that. No, we are together as a unit, we have setbacks together, and we have accomplishments together. And we protect each other. We protect each other's brand. We protect and build each other's reputation. And we understand that we're not running two individual businesses here. We're running one individual business together, and together we're better. Last but not least, if you really want to win together in business, my suggestion is this. You go travel together, but not just individually. You travel together with other power couples. And we're excited about this trip we're taking in the next three weeks. We're taking a trip to Greece. There's 30 of us, 30 power couples. We're taking to Greece to travel the world together. Now, here's the thing. It's just not one time. We've been to Dubai together. We've been to Costa Rica together. We've been to Puerto Vallarta together. We've been to Cancun together. So we travel together as power couples. Why? Because we're learning with one, one another. And together, we're sharing with one another what works best for one another. And through that process, we're learning more about each other. And again, embracing together as a power couple. Well, that wraps up this episode of Living Mind Smart, and I hope you got the value from it. If you haven't done so already, if you're watching this on Facebook, make sure you hit like on our business page. And if you're watching this on YouTube, make sure you subscribe and hit notifications to make sure you get first dibs the next time we upload another video just like this because we're taking feedback from you. With that being said, thanks for watching this video. 
And until we meet again, continue to live smart, continue to love smart, and be money smart today. <laughs>